In this question, we are going to evaluate 16 to the 1 half power plus 4 to the 3 half power. Well, what does the fraction power mean? So let's talk about it right here first. So let me write it down. If we have some number a raised to a fraction power, let me write it as m over n. And this is what we are going to do, especially when we're just trying to do the computation. So first, we are going to pay attention to the denominator. So let me just call this denominator in red. So we have the over n to look at first. The over n, the denominator for the power, will turn into the root. It will be the nth root. Okay? It will be the nth root. And then, to do the computation, we should just do the a inside of the nth root first. And then we still have this m power, right? We will just take that and then raise everything to the m power on the outside. So this is how we are going to um, evaluate the fraction power right here. So right here, we have 16 to the 1 half power. So let's talk about the 1 half power is right here first. So that means I have to do the second root. And by the way, the second root is just the square root. Okay, but let me just emphasize that the denominator of the fraction becomes the index of the radical. And then for the inside, we have the base, which is the 16. And then this is raised to a first power. It doesn't really matter. But then, just to show you guys the consistent with the formula, I will take this raised to the first power. So that's what it means when we have a 1 half power. And then let me also write it down. Plus, let's take care of this as well. Well, we have 4 raised to a 3 half power. I'm going to once again look at the half power. And the half power will turn into the square root, which is the second root. And then the inside is the 4. And then we take this raised to the third power. Okay? And then we'll continue. We'll do this inside out. We look at the inside. We ask ourselves the second root, meaning the square root of 16. Is what? Well, that's 4. No problem, right? And then we take this to the first power, which is just 4. So we are done for that. How about the next one? The second root of 4. This right here is 2, right? Because the square root of 4 is 2. And then we're not done yet, though. We have to take this 2, put the parentheses, and raise to a third power. All right. This is just a 4. Make sure we do the exponent first. So 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 times 2 will give us 8. So altogether, 4 plus 8, that will give us 12. That's it.